Before we begin, like always, I want to ask you, who can answer this question in less than seven seconds? Hmm, let's do a countdown. Three, two, one, and time's up. Chances are it wasn't that easy to answer in such short time, right? Well, that's exactly why you need to watch this video. Let's go and learn the magic of doing calculations without using a calculator. We call it square root of a perfect square. Watch this video today, and by the end of it, I promise you'll be able to solve questions like the one we just asked much faster than you think. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Seriously, don't forget. Let's start by reviewing these numbers. Most of us are already familiar with squares of numbers. It's simple. It just means a number multiplied by itself. 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is 36, 7 squared is 49, 8 squared is 64, 9 squared is 81. Now take a look at the last digits of these results. Some of them are the same, aren't they? For example, both 4 squared and 6 squared, let's highlight those. There are only two numbers that have unique ending digits, was 0 and 5. All right, let's jump into our first example. We want to find the square root of 12 and 25. Step 1. Look at the last digit. It's 5. Remember from before? Only 5 squared ends in 25, so we write down 5. Next, we cross out the last two digits. Now we're left with 12. Find the biggest square less than or equal to 12. That would be 9, which is 3 squared. So we write down 3. And there's our final answer, 35. Surprised? Let's try a harder one. How about the square root of 729? Look at the last digit. It's 9. Now 3 squared equals 9, and 7 squared equals 49. So both 3 and 7 tongue could be part of the answer. Now, like before, cross out the last two digits. We're left with 7. Look again at our list of square numbers. What's the biggest square less than or equal to 7? That would be 4, which is 2 squared. So now we have two possible answers, 23 or 27. Which one is it? Easy. Just multiply the 2 by the 2 by the next number. Now compare. Is 7 bigger or smaller than 6? It's bigger, so we choose the larger number, which is 27. I know, I know, you might think this is a bit tricky, but honestly, just practice it once, and you'll be amazed at how simple it is. Let's do another one together. But before that, if you enjoy tips like this, subscribe to our channel and check out our shorts section. It's full of fun and quick tips. Okay, here comes a tougher one to strengthen those brain muscles. 29116. Let's calculate it. Step 1. The last digit is 6. Which numbers squared end in 6? 4 and 6. So we write both of them down. Next, cross out the last two digits. We're left with 29. What's the largest square less than or equal to 29? That's not sure 25, which is 5 squared. So we write down 5. Now multiply 5, 6, 30 dime. Compare it to 29. Is 29 smaller than 30? Yes. So we pick the smaller option, which gives us 54 as the answer. Getting easier, right? What about this one? A2181. Here's how to do it. Which squares end in 1? Sorry, 1 squared equals 1, and 9 squared equals 81 test. So write down both. Watts 1 and 9 true. Now cross out the last two digits. Left with 82. The largest square less than or equal to 82 is 81 ju, which is 9 squared. So we write down. Now, do 9 comes 10 equals 92. Compare it to 82. Is 82 smaller than 90? Yes. So we pick the smaller answer, which gives us 91. Easy, right? Now it's your turn. Try solving one and leave it for us in the comments. And if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like the video. We love you all. See you next time. Goodbye for now.